I'm Lady Askan, and today in our Quick Tip series, we want to talk about how to make an octopus head topper. This was a request of one of our community members. And if you have a request yourself for a tutorial, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Let's go! We will be working purely in V-Roid today, and will use one of the combinable hair sections. I didn't use sides yet, so this was my choice but you can take any of them that you didn't use yet. You press create new and edit hairstyle and then we go to work. First, I will create a new material for my octopus and create a procedural hair guide, which is different than what we would usually do when working on hair. Here we will adjust the placement, the hair count, the intensity and the interval using the procedural parameter sliders on the right. Only now I realized that I was still working with the wrong material, but that's an easy fix. Now we fine-tune the look of our octopus using the mesh that isn't really visible here anymore, but you can see me adjusting the little points here to let my idea take shape. Once we got it all done and are happy with the shape, we can turn our procedural group into a freehand group, which means we will now be able to adjust each strand individually. In the end, I didn't even need a dead because all I had to do was lift up my hairnet a little bit and raise the tentacles up. And yes, I'm well aware that these are way more tentacles than an octopus has. And if you want to be a bit more realistic in your approach, you can easily add the right amount of tentacles as extra hair strands later and just leave the base shape as it was in the beginning. So let's just say our octopus is a mutation or an alien. It's more proof of concept. Now, I like to be a little bit extra and add some eyes here to make some effects later, but that would lengthen the video a bit too much, so if you want to know how to do that in more detail, I recommend watching my tutorial for additional eyes or the anime eye tutorial. I will have both linked here and at the end of the video. Something people often ask me about is how they can have the hair with two colors, where one color is at the bottom and another at the top. So let's set it up here for our little alien. We edit our material and export the existing one to edit in our photo manipulation software or drawing program. I use here Paint Tool Sci, but any other program will also work just fine. I pick my color and fill one half of the texture with my main color and the other half with the color I want to have at the bottom. Then we load the texture back into V-Ride and it may not look like much right now, but trust the process, because all we have to do is to play a little bit with the offset slider until all upper parts are filled with our main color. And voila, the bottom has our secondary color now as well. Last but not least, I want to share with you an amazing trick to make tentacles look a bit cooler. These could be tentacles of your little alien friend head or your hair. Feel free to be creative. A little heads up too. The more tentacles or hair strands you have, the more time this will take at the end. We save our asset and then go to Edit Hair Bounce. Here we have to create a hair group for each strand individually and set the setting in the following way. I will spare you my 15 minutes of setting it up on each strand and show you the setup once it's finished. I put 15 bones into each tentacle and altered the fixed point to the place from which on I want the tentacles to move. This is a vital step because if you would just leave it as is, your hair would float up from your head and it wouldn't have the intended effect. The stiffness is here 0.15 and I set the gravity to minus 0.003 because remember that you can put custom values into these sliders. Now export may take a bit due to the amount of bones and if you want to set up the expressions for this little guy later in Unity, don't forget to disable the lead transparent meshes and combine hair mesh. Now we load our little guy into VC face and can check out the results. I had my expression set to change whenever I close my eyes or blink and I think it's a pretty cool effect overall. You could of course set custom expressions and link them to your own expressions it's all up to you. I hope you guys have fun with this. And if you want to have the base of this little friend, I sell him on my Boost store. Links are, as always, down in the description. I see you all next time and I hope you have a wonderful day.